Alrighty, good morning, guys. Uh oh. Okay. I think we might be fine. It almost looks like... Uh... Like my... Webcam is not running at the proper speed. I guess I can double check. No, it's it's 60 frames per second. Maybe OBS is acting up or something, because it looks fine on the webcam program. <clears throat> okay, well, we left off last time uh, reading a whole bunch of stuff from this emperor. <clears throat> so I, I think we're good. And we're ready to move forward? I think? <clears throat> ah, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah, those other ones don't work. We'd have to use the top one that we already did. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So we just need to disable the she submarine. If I recall correctly, don't we have to talk to someone about that? That's right, we still can do this as well. But why would we want to activate these? <clears throat> oh gosh, are you saying there's more we can read? <laughs> Oh man. Alright, we're we're into some more lore, guys. Botany program. After about twenty minutes you discover this. Initial results of botanical radiation disruption prove unpromising. Dr. Shen Shang develops uh, radiation resistant plant life. Unpleasant side effects follow. Resultant plant life deemed too dangerous. Shang insists on pursuing line and mixing it with genetic program. Is this why we're seeing huge plants and stuff? <clears throat> genetic program. After about 20 minutes, you piece together this information. Using the basics of the FEV virus, Dr. Long Wang is convinced of success in creating mutant soldiers. He creates a serum providing interesting results with rodent experiments. <clears throat> he injects himself and dissolves into a puddle of goo. <laughs> Dr. Shang disables line of inquiry. With the death of Dr. Long, Dr. Shang is in charge. Shang demands focus on radiation consuming plant life. Oh, interesting. Xeno program. 
The subject on which we had hoped to establish a series of meaningful experiments has disappeared, presumed either destroyed or stolen by the hubologists. Further inquiries have proven fruitless. Until such time as further specimens are obtained, this database will remain inoperative. Okay. Uh, let's check biology. We already did. Let's check history. Submarine status. The Shi Huang Ti. That's a class type 088 nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine. Has an armament of 8 JL 3 nuclear ballistic missiles. It was launched August 8th, 2068. Commissioned April 18th, 2069. The captain is Admiral Class Quadruple A Yi Li. Crew of 15 officers, 28 petty officers, 27 enlisted, 16 civilian technicians. Its service <clears throat> between 2069 and 2071 is in Chinese Territorial Waters Patrol. Between 2071 and 2077, it was in a combat patrol in the Alaskan and Pacific theaters of operation. In October of 2077, it had a combat mission in the Californian theater of operations. Mission, mission outline R. Uh, current status, submarine damaged beyond repair. Mainframe removed from vessel and relocated. Ship refitted as stationary defensive structure two miles north-northeast of San Francisco Harbor. Stationary defensive structure sounds interesting. Uh, didn't we read this? This looks familiar. May of 2220. Poseidon Marine Vessel Valdez arrives in port, manned by a crew equipped with unknown type-powered infantry armor. The ship is disabled and infested with mutants. June. Following cons consults with the Emperor, Shang Li dictates that the Shi Huang Ti be reactivated and transformed into a defensive installation against further naval threats. In July, the submarine is reactivated. Emergency power had to be provided to power it up. May 2231, the emergency generator dies. Ken Lee orders an electro box generator to be wired into the power system to keep powering the submarine. August of 2238, a Neptune wave skimmer motorboat is restored and transferred to the submarine maintenance crew. Uh, upon request made by the Alaskan Frontline Commander General Jing Wei, the Shi Huang Ti was transferred to the Alaskan Pacific Theater of Operations to intercept American convoys in open waters. Under the command of Rear Admiral Yi Li, she has sunk nine freighters and four warships, damaging 18 more craft and putting a significant strain on enemy supply lines. I swear we read this. Admiral Yi Li has been credited by the People's Liberation Army Navy as leading to the sinking of USS Evan Atoll by an American submarine, USS Interference. I am like a hundred percent positive. We've read this. <clears throat> All right. Let me look real quick.
Yeah, we've read the stuff already. Looks like he was in a different section, though. Okay. Yeah, we've read all that, too. Okay. I think we're done here. Oops. <laughs> Zero Fox, what's going on, man? Nope. I was uh, kind of going over stuff uh, again with the Emperor... That I thought maybe um, that I missed, uh, but I don't think so. <laughs> nice. I don't think that could be reached. <laughs> Chocolate fire guard, what's going on? <laughs> the world is toast? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I think we probably have to leave here now. And I guess go straight to the submarine ourselves? And I'm going to guess it's probably this way. Or not. So it's probably up this way. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Getting sick of fish. <laughs> huh. A raw looking fish. If cooked, it would probably be or probably make a tasty meal. Ah, we'll we'll give it back. Unless Sure, I like your homes. Wanna go swimming? I'm <clears throat> probably not in this armor.
<laughs> yeah, and not in the radiated water. Um, I guess I would kind of like to start pushing towards the end. Um, maybe, maybe we don't have to beeline, but maybe we can hit side quests on the way. Oh wait, there's another fish. Not geared yet. Well, I'm definitely open for maybe focusing on uh, upgrading our gear. Yeah, if we could farm some XP and find some better gear, I'm up for focusing on that for a bit. Ooh, excuse me. Mumbles to himself. Oh, what atrocious or what atrocities did poor Mang do in the past life to deserve such misfortune? Now the Lao Wei Lao Wei comes to me, and what good could possibly come of it? None, of course, none at all. <laughs> What's your problem, Mumbles? I noticed you seem to be upset about something. I was just wondering if I could help. My problem? He laughs bitterly. Uh. I think that's Low Way. Low Way, you do not wish to know my problem. To hear of sorrow such as mine is to forget the sound of a child's laughter and the warm embrace of a lover. No, trust me, you do not wish to glimpse my personal hell. <laughs> you think your problems are bad? I bet they don't compare to things I've been through. Alright, Mr. Melodrama. I'm going to leave you now before you make me depressed. Bye! <laughs> Let's go with number three. I'm sorry things have been rough for you, but it might help to talk about it. If you're willing to talk, then I'm willing to listen. Fine. You want to know my problem? I'll tell you. Two years ago, my brother, who looks very similar to me, had an affair with a local gang leader's girlfriend. The gang leader found out about it, and my brother fled town. The gang caught me instead, and, thinking I was my brother, they severed, they severed my penis as punishment. Now I piss through a tube. Oh, well. Oh no, I'm not done yet. Then my beautiful girlfriend left me because I was no longer a real man and could not satisfy her. She then married my next door neighbor, who also happens to be my boss. Oh wow. Now, all day at work, he orders me around and mocks me with my co-workers. And every night I must try to fall asleep to the sound of him making love to the girl I should have married. Oh boy, wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that happened to you, Mang. Life can be cruel, but it can al always get better. If I were you, I'd move somewhere else and find a different job. Otherwise, you'll never be able to move on. Yeah, that's...
terrible. Perhaps you are right. All my life I've known nothing but the she. But there's nothing left here for me but sorrow. Yes, I think I shall venture out into the world and forge a new destiny. Even if the wastes offer me nothing but a swift death that is preferable to remaining here. Thank you, Lao Wei. Wait. I think they misspelled this earlier. So I thought I pronounced it Lao Wei before, but then they switched the A and the O. And I'm like, well, that's not Lao. Uh, before you start packing, I was wondering if you can answer a question or two for me. Why not? I'm severing all ties to the Shi. Their secrets now mean nothing to me. Ask what you will. What can you tell me about that guarded motorboat over there? The she used that motorboat bo to access our sleeping guardian, the sub. What can you tell me about the sub? The Shi Huang Ti is the submarine that brought our ancestors to this place from a faraway land. In the aftermath of the Great War, it lost power and ran aground in the San Francisco Bay. Captain Yi and his crew then made their way to the city and established what would become the Shi Society. You referred to it as a sleeping guardian. What do you mean by that? Like a hibernating dragon whose snores can still produce deadly fire, the sub is immobile, but not helpless. The Shi have been working on it in secret, making clandestine trips to the sub under cover of night. Its weapons have been reactivated and will surely destroy any non-Chinese vessels that dare to sail through the bay. Through this bay. So, let's say, hypothetically, if that big tanker that's docked here were to try and set sail <laughs> no way nice then boom gotcha i don't suppose you know how i could disarm it only the she's technicians would know such a thing i've told you all i know thanks meng good luck with your new life oh we hope to move on What do you want, Lao Wei? What are you guarding? Everything. Don't try to be funny. <laughs> Can't you be any more specific? No, now back away, outsider. Oh, jeez. <laughs> eh. Alright, bye. We're not, not going to get aggressive here. We don't need to... Uh, um junk town every city <clears throat> oh how so I'm unique, just like everyone else. And that's like what they ask you to do. Wow. Oh my guts. Ow, wow, ow, ow. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I'll tell you. It's that I got drunk last week, started gambling with Lao Chow. Or Cho? Oh, chow. And lost. I was so blind drunk that I bet my spleen. <laughs> now he has it, and I need it back. You sold your spleen? 
Yeah, I sold it. I was drunk. Plus, I think Lao Chow slipped some jet in my drink. I need my spleen back because I'm getting infections now. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, I'll take a look for it. I really appreciate this. Go talk to Lao Chow, the merchant, and tell him I need my spleen back. Whew. And where can I find him? He belches loudly. What do you want? We'll belch back. We'll belch louder. And we'll applaud. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's got some explaining to do. <laughs> nice, Zero Fox. Who are you? I'm Badger. I used to have a band. <sighs> Called ourselves There We Smolder. Now I'm the resident computer tech in San Fran. What sort of computer stuff do you do? Well, let's just say I'm an information retrieval specialist. What does that mean? It means that I can find data you need. I see. Cool. I have more questions. Uh, can you tell me about this tanker? You ought to talk to Mark or the captain about that. Where can I find Mark? He's usually down at the bar. Where can I find the captain? It's usually, usually on the bridge. Just go up the stairs in the bar. And what do you do here? I'm the resident computer genius. Okay, that's it. Oh, there's a downstairs ladder. We'll go that way shortly. Hi, I'm Jenna. May I help you? I want some information. I've learned that the less you know, the longer you live. I have no other information for you. Would you like to see my goods? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, we want these. That's it. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess that works out. That's a good trade. Oh crap, I keep forgetting those ones you don't learn from. You just use them for something, maybe. Well, that'll do. <laughs> Next time I want to find a tribe of Goths. What do you know about tribes, sir? Hello again, back for more? Yeah, I'm anything more than zero is more.
Oh, another powered fist. This is a gun store. Where are the guns? I might have to check their uh, other shelves. I just, I just realized that. Oh, apparently that's not how this one works. Well, that got added. <laughs> right. And she actually had a second shelf. Wow. Seems to be all there is about that. Yeah, we checked both tables already. I'd flirt with you, but I'm just not interested. getting there. Must be... Must be a ladder we climb up to get in there. I do not see a door. Unless that's a door. Oh. Is there a door here? No. Ooh, stairs. We're not quite done with this floor, though. We're not finished with you. Oh, no kidding. more power armor? Nothing. What can I do for you, Mambajama? Who are you? I'm Mark. I'm the resident smartass and know-it-all. He smiles. Oh, I have other questions. What is this place? 
This is the Poseidon Marine Vessel Valdez, also called the PMV Valdez. If you want more information about the Valdez, the best person to ask is the captain. Who's that? The captain is a tough-ass old military guy. He sits upstairs there and checks the place out. He's got some thorough knowledge about this ship. Thanks. Who's in charge? In charge? No one's in charge of us. Where do y'all come from? Oh, all over the wasteland. We'd heard things about San Francisco, passed down from our elders. Some of us have ancestors who used to live here before the Great War. Want to hear more? Yes. We're a band of musicians, tech heads, geeks, and artists. We thought we'd come back to someplace famous for artists and personal freedom. I came here to spawn. <laughs> Want to hear more still? Yes. Well... When we got here, we figured we'd camp out here until we either figured out how to get this tanker moving again, or until we thought of something else. Have you figured out how to move the tanker? I think the captain's figured out how to do it, but we need several elements first. We've basically given up on taking it for ourselves, to tell the truth. We've got an other plans now. Yeah. What are they? You want to know what our plans are? We're going to keep moving around until we can find a place that hasn't been screwed over by human greed. And then we're going to try to set up a better society. Do you know how you're going to do that? We're hoping that we can avoid society's mistakes. Hell, things can't get much worse. I think we asked this. Yeah. Okay, bye. I'm Slim. What do you, what'll you have? Want some information. Information, huh? Well, I ain't no library, and this ain't no computer room. Drink up or get out. Want some booze or not? No. Later, then. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can talk to the captain. Yar. Beep boop beep. Welcome to Poseidon Poseidonet. This terminal is limited to transmission between one tanker, PMV Valdez, and docking rig command. Go. <laughs> Fuel tanks empty. Check status. Fuel tanks empty. Cargo hold empty. Navigation computer non-functional. Mooring lines attached. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> Did I miss the captain? Thought he was up here. Is he hiding? Trying to hide off screen? Uh, maybe he's not here, he's upstairs somewhere else, like in a different area. Holy crap, what the fruit? Why did no one tell us about this?
There's a woman back there. Yeah, just a little bit. What? Where's my power fist? Ugh. I think if I shoot him, I'm going to hit him. Who's got my power fist? Oh, hey, you can hold on to these. Maybe I left it in the car. No, here it is. Phew. Okay. Wow. Better damage than my gun. <laughs> yep. Guess that means I need a better gun. That's true. Yeah. How many hit points does that floater have? Jeez. You equipped your gun just to run over and punch? Or did you unequip it? And why would you do that? Why aren't you shooting? Oh my gosh. And then he missed. shot
Jason. There we go. Sell it. Move. Goodbye. Oh, 81 damage. Wow. I'm missing this guy. There you go. <laughs> you tell him, dog meat. Hmm. That's a shame. Two crits in a row on Cassidy? What? Oh, crap. Whew, just enough. Dog meat's in the way. There you go. Jeez, Vic. I think dog meat's too close. Yeah. Don't make me use the cheat knife. <laughs> what do you mean, cheat knife? <laughs> Is there a special ability I'm not aware of? I think we aggroed everything. It looks like it's just these two left. Oh. Well, for some reason, it's not showing up. They're not being highlighted.
Unless it's a ripper. That's true. It'd be odd to call that a knife, though. But... That's the only thing I'm aware of. Guys. I must be out of energy. What's going on, man? Oh, there are more aliens over here. Nice, that's pretty good range to keep it at 95. Dog meat, no! Alright, I think we're safe right there. Oh, no we're not. Holy cow! Yeah, that was really cool. Okay, she's highlighted. Ten thousand five hundred XP. Good job, guys.
Hmm, this ladder probably takes up takes us up into that computer room. This looks like it could be important. I think this is that those stairs we saw before. Dog meat. We might have to blow this up. Oh, <laughs> good call. Use tanker fob here. We don't have a tanker fob. Oh, time to find a tinker fob. Interesting. Nothing to do here, huh? Okay. Hey, thanks for opening that. Hi, lady. Well, you're safe now. Do you have anything else to say? Oh, now she's gonna follow us. <laughs> Schmaltra, welcome to the stream. Yes, it is quite messy down here. Oh, it leads into this room. Okay. Oh, now you're leaving. She went to go find Badger. Wait, didn't we talk to Badger? That's slim. I have a feeling... Oh, shoot. We did this out of order. Ah, oh, jeez. I haven't been recording this whole time. I could have sworn I pushed it. Well, it's time to take a short break, guys. <laughs> wow. We're at an hour and... Well, 12 minutes, but 10 of that is uh, the intro. Yeah, I'll just have to make a highlight out of the VOD real quick. It, 
it won't be too bad. And I'll just have to give it the correct name when I save it on my hard drive. Well, let's take a short break, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> 